So I recently bought a Polk Omni S2 on sale for $99, hoping it'd be a cheaper alternative to Sonos. I thought I'd post a quick review of my thoughts after playing with it for a couple of days. So on the pro side, uh, it sounds good to me. I'm no uh, audio uh, engineer or anything like that, but it sounded really good to me. It had good um, volume, good bass, um, so that's definite pro. Uh, it was also really easy to set up. I got it paired with my Wi-Fi and phone in a matter of minutes uh, and was playing music in a matter of minutes. Uh, I think it looks good. It can stand horizontal like this or uh, vertical. Uh, it's just a nice simple design. It's got a audio down button uh, or up, plus or minus, and then the poke button pauses all the playback. Uh, it also has um, an aux in, which is nice. So a 3.5 millimeter aux in, so if you wanted to play it from your phone and not over Wi-Fi, you could do that. Another pro is you can pair multiple speakers to play the same audio out of those multiple speakers. So if you want to have a speaker in your kitchen and another speaker in your living room, you could play the same audio out of those, which I think is really nice. It also comes with a changeable uh, cover. So if you wanted to have a white cover, you could just place that over the top. It has an app that you can install on your computer, which works like a speaker. So you can actually output any sound that your computer can play. So I was able to play YouTube, Spotify, and any other sound that came from my computer. There is a delay though, so uh, you probably wouldn't want to play any YouTube videos other than maybe music. It also wouldn't work really well for gaming. On the con side, one of the things that I didn't like is I had to leave the app running on my phone in order to play music. I couldn't just start, uh, say, Pandora, and then exit out of my phone it actually streamed through my phone's Wi-Fi. Which leads me to my next con, which is the battery life on my phone drained a lot faster because it was constantly streaming the Wi-Fi. Another con for me is I couldn't control the speaker from different phones without first stopping the music on my first phone and taking over command of the speaker on the second. So I couldn't say, start the music on my phone and then let my wife adjust the volume on her phone. Same thing went for the computer. If I was playing sound from the computer, I couldn't adjust the volume from my phone. I had to control it from either the speaker or the computer. Another con is if you wanted full functionality of playing audio from a computer, there's a premium app that you have to pay for in order to get all of the functionality. There's also limited music services available. There's Pandora, QQ Music, KKBox, Deezer, Sirius, and Songza. They don't have Spotify, Google, Amazon, or any services like that. You can play music from your phone, uh, you can play from a media server, although I will mention that it did lose my media server connection. I had to reestablish it each time. Uh, and you can play internet radio. There's lots of internet radio to choose from. So overall, it's a pretty easy to use app, just limited selections. So in conclusion, they're good speakers with limited control. I think of it more as a Bluetooth speaker that you can connect multiple speakers together rather than a competitor to Sonos. Hopefully someday it'll get to that point, but currently I don't think it's there. Ultimately, I was hoping to combine these with my home automation system to be able to turn them on when motion was detected in the room or to turn them on when I got home, things like that that Sonos can do. But I think these are a long way off if it will ever get there.